The first rule about Fight Club is you don't say Fight Club. Get off your phone. We've started. Hello. Hi, Jeff. Now, what's your name? Louisa Claire Delden. What's yours? I want to make something very clear to you. What? Clear. Yes. Clear. It's the same as the other one that I did. Oh. Just realise. Say clear. Clear. We've done this before on the podcast. Not clear. We have. Oh, no, we've done. Yes, we have. We've done clear. Have we? Yes, you've got the memory of a goldfish. What's my name? Oh, Jack. Ten seconds later. What's my name? Jack. Turns out that's a myth. A goldfish is not done. The memory. Liar. Tobs. Google. Onto it. <laughs> Straight away, baby. <laughs> Into it. No, I heard a yarn the other day. That's a fucking load of hot cock. It's bullshit. That bloody... That, 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 that goldfishes actually don't have a fucking eight-second memory or whatever it is. Yeah, they can remember objects for weeks and use landmarks uh, to remember came up where with to find that food. Dude, I, it's just a myth, it sounds. Are there any like. fishes that can't remember things? Because there's it's obviously just, Dory on um, oh, Finding Nemo. F- yeah, what a fucking cartoon. Yeah, that, yeah fuckhead. She's so? got amnesia. Oh. She has trauma-induced amnesia. How do you know? Because of the movie. But they don't say that on a children's movie. Yeah, she had movie. fucking trauma. And that's How why do she, you know? Didn't she get like real scared or some shit? That's why she couldn't Google remember. It. I think she got lost. Did Dory have amnesia? P. She Sherman, 42 M- Wallaby Way, Sydney. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Because she's got to remember how to get home. So she yeah, she does that. have amnesia. Uh, she has amnesia. Yeah. Huh. Was it trauma induced? Did we ever get to the bottom of that in that movie? No, Nemo's the one who has trauma. He gets stolen. Dory doesn't get stolen. Nemo does. Dory's a dead shit. Judge, <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> oh, that's offensive. We'll get cancelled because I call the cartoon fish that isn't real a dead shit. <laughs> yeah, mate. No, you can't say that. Don't say that. What if Dory's people get onto us? Like her PR. Get to the bottom uh, of this, top. I she think have... she inherited it from her family. Oh, it, okay. Do you inherit amnesia? <laughs> I don't know. It reminds me of it. I can't remember. Anethicist. Anethicist. Anethicism. Anethicism. Uh, oh, don't do this to me. Anethetist. 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 And they're the ones who put you to sleep when you have a surgery. Wow, very clever. Good girl. Oh, fuck. Hey, mate, can you just swing in here, Burmo? We're just doing a podcast champion. Sorry, guys. No, just champion. jump in, mate. Right, I've actually got bad news. What? Tom Birmingham from Hallis with the Hallis World Podcast. Burke Street Bakery have discontinued their ham and cheese toast. Oh, oh no way! No, I go. What the fuck? I didn't swear. Did you man. pull up a, a knife? No, I just go. I go. Why on earth would you do that? And he just goes. I don't know, like he wasn't the decision maker. <laughs> it's Did not you the say baker. Why on the earth yeah, would you I do? Was it? Fucking furious! I wanted one. Yeah, that's <laughs> fair, brother. Yeah. <laughs> no, mate, you just <laughs> stop sure. straight past the cameras. <laughs> No, leave it in. Okay, but it's, you can't hear him. Yeah, you get it. Hey, okay. Don't take the piss out of our audience. Yeah. Fuck off to the punters the and piss. dribblers. <laughs> We're the only ones that can take the piss out of our audience and it's going to land in their respective beds. Do you understand that, kid? <laughs> well done, Jack. All right, see you, buddy. Well, now I've forgotten. Cause, oh, You've well, got that, amnesia. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know a memory that I had this morning? Did you ever um, Duracell your books when you were going to s- school as a kid? Duracell, the batteries. No, you know Duracell you'd put on your like A4 books? I used to love it. I would like attack Jill if she'd get a bubble in my Duracell. You know how you got to put them on very Oh, like, you didn't do it yourself. No, Jill would do it for me. But if she got a bubble in it, I would attack her. I tried to do it myself and it didn't work. There were bubbles Imagine everywhere. Imagine a bubble of a human attacking her mother for having a bubble in something that she was doing for her. Imagine that. Imagine fucking that. Get rid of that bubble or I'll eat it. <laughs> like, God, your poor mother. God, sometimes I just think about Jill in my own personal time and I'm just like, I sit there and I just, I'm like, I'm there reading a book in, this, in the sunshine at home because I'm flat out now, as you know. And sometimes I'll just put the book down like this and I'll just think and I'll go, that poor fucking woman. <laughs> yes, woman, when I was younger, but not woman, now. Yeah, you'd, you'd, still, you'd, you'd still be hard work, wouldn't you? Probably. To Jilly now. Sometimes if I just call her sporadically, she'll be in like a meeting, she'll go, everything all good? Yeah. I think she'd drop young. everything for you. 100%. Yeah. She'd fly here in 10 seconds if I said, 
get to Rose Bay. It's physically impossible. Well, three hours. Yeah. But with the Duracell thing, or what, I don't know what you've called it that. It was just like, I used to choose the fancy paper. I'd be like Tasmanian Devil or like Harry. I would always get the Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes or But Harry I was Potter. a Tweety girl. I had a Tweety one. It was my Ooh. maths book. But like, I used to do that, right, and prep them for school. And this is how I always used to approach a new school year. I do all that shit, get everything prepped. And I'm like, okay, you're going to be good this year. I know. You're going to do work. You've got, you got all your books. you got the fancy stationery. You, you new got books. your new stuff. And I'm like, and I'd go to school. I'm like, okay, buddy, this is your year to knuckle down and like, let's be good at school. And then I'd get there. Never happens. And see a fucking like. Piece of lint. Piece, piece of lint and just play with that or just sniff textures or make fucking guns out of connector textures. And yeah. You just. It all went to shit within the first day. I think day. that's the same as you and I in, in life. Yeah. Like, yesterday you helped me, thank you, Jarch. You Pleasure. set up my new little one-bedder apartment in Rose Bay. Yeah. And I'm I'm going to go to Kmart after this and get, like, you know, storage units for my spices and storage units for my linen and, and all these different boxes for makeup and stuff. Mm. That's going to last a month. Yeah, I know. And then the place will just go back to being messy. This is the way I think we both operate. Excuse me. I just burped and I apologise to the listener. This is the way we operate. We'll get it in our brains. I'll, I'll like get something in my brain like I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm going to get my man cave looking fresh to fuck. Like mm. it's going to be good to go. Get it all fresh, do it, or get halfway through it and then something else takes my interest or I lose complete interest in it, then I'll get it done. Once it's finally done, I'm like, keep it like this. Within a week, it's completely fucked. Then it will be fucked for... Four weeks? A month. Then I'll do a big spring clean again and get it fucking fresh again. Good for a week. Fuck for a month. This is what happens to me with my wardrobe. Obviously, I'm addicted to shopping and clothes. And, and heroin. <laughs> and I'll clear out my wardrobe and I'll go, perfect. I'm going to keep it this way, throw these things out, keep it like that. Four weeks later, fucking pigsty. Things hanging off the coat hangers. And then I'll do it again. Everyone always says to me, they're like, you are cleaning out your wardrobe. You say that to me, you're doing it on a Sunday. Twice a month. Yeah. Yeah, you, you no, no. I got a theory. Mm. No one has less clothes than a rich white woman. No one has nothing to wear than a rich white woman. Do you know how many times I've heard rich white women say this? <sighs> I've got nothing to fucking wear, as they're surrounded <laughs> by a mound yeah, of fucking clothes. Yeah. Tobs, are you with me on this? Yeah, hundred percent, bro. But the Sometimes you'll have everything you need in front of you and it just doesn't look right. I know, but the, bro, I've seen girls go like this. <laughs> like they're sliding clothes off on a rail on, on the hangout. They're going, shh, 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 while telling me that they've got no fucking clothes. I'm that'd be them. like That'd be like me having $50,000 cash going, 100, 200, 300. I've got no fucking money. 400, 500. See? It's different, Josh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's different. It's like... You can have all the clothes, but it might not be the right vibe for the event. But you birds. Or it might not be the right. You might put it on today and you might have your period. You might be a bit bloated. It might not look the same as it did two weeks ago. <laughs> this is yeah. the truth. Yeah, that's fine. But at the same time. So then you've, it, no, no, no. But it's the, way that, it's the way that women in this day and age have built up clothes. Like, built up clothes like. A lot of birds will buy an eight hundred dollar fucking dress and then won't wear it again. I know. And you're like, what are you doing? Eight hundred dollars. If I've got something worth eight hundred dollars, that motherfucker is getting worn. Well, I've got I it for like thirty years. Nowadays, everyone's buying quality over quantity. So yes, you'd spend eight hundred dollars on a nice blazer because you're going to wear it. D everybody 50, who does fifty times a no, no, no. A, a year if more. No, nah, but that's rich people doing that. Yes, Mo the that's general where our most people. That's where our theory was. Yeah. So that's where I'm taking the oh, argument. I see. Check. You're not saying everyone generally. No, Because most I'm people will just fucking go to Kmart and shit. Exactly. But yes. I fucking love Kmart. So you can walk I. into that place, that Kmart and Target, not need anything and come out with 12 things. Yeah. Well, I'll do that today. I'll go in there knowing I'm getting yeah. storage stuff. Yeah. There'll be 44 other items. I'll just go. Yeah, I'm with you. It's fine. Steph will be like, you need to go and get this. Could you just go get me this from fucking Kmart? I said, yeah, 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 no worries. Then I'll be like, oh, I might need that bin for my man cave. Oh, that's a cool little plant. That would spruce up. Oh, I like that little vase. Next thing you know, you've got 30, 100 things, and you're like, that'll be $16. And you're like, perfect. 
Steph got me a dartboard from Kmart, like a shitty dartboard from Kmart the other day to put in my man cave and I put her up. I love darts. And I played it. So- <laughs> the, 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 the smoking kind as well. Well, I was <laughs> – shut the fuck up. Don't promote – Darts and darts. Don't promote I'm smoking not- tobacco on this podcast. I'm saying that's what you would do in your spare you, time. You're a deviant, Louisa, and little sometimes I cannot handle it. Dart smoker, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> aren't you a little <laughs> dart smoker? I, I would smoke. I have smoked darts up in my man cave when I've been up there drinking the with a mate. There. She, she, she has torn strips. Fear enough. It's my man cave. You're in the house smoking <laughs> tobacco. I know. Nicotine. I know. That's naughty, senior. You're a naughty little boy, aren't you? Well, I was very drunk, wasn't I? I was a little naughty boy. It's you, isn't it, Jack? Aren't you? <laughs> aren't I'll you never get over it. Neither. But I, so obviously, because we're doing the podcast full time, mate. Mm. I'm flat out like a lizard drinking half the it's time. It's nonstop content. So I played darts for so long that I woke up the next day. I went to the gym that day as well. Played darts, and I woke up. I went, "Fuck that gym session was fucking red on. I fucking feel pretty sore." When I move, I'm like, "Holy shit." And then I realised it was literally only my right arm just that was sore, just from, <laughs> not from what you think, just from throwing darts. Winking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's with us. I got gotcha. you. I played darts for that fucking long. Can I? I haven't seen the man cave. Dude, you haven't even been to my house. Yeah, invite me over for dinner, you pig. Nah, this is, Ben, what is it? We've got to admit something. This is all the front. Lou and I hate each other we off this podcast. We never hang out. We never go sauna. No, we never go sauna. Well, I don't go and help you fucking build all the shit in your house for three years. Hey, hours. I built some I, You stuff. know what's wild, dude? What? Yeah, I was impressed with you. You know what's wild? What? I've been to your house. You've been in there for a day. Yeah. I've been to your house more times than you've been to my fucking you house. You always come over to mine, but why don't you invite me to yours, hey? I have. When? Heaps. No, I'm like, dude, come up later and check out the cat. And you're like, yeah, absolutely. And then you're like, actually, I'm busy. I've got to, like, fucking get, do, like, a video. Get <laughs> stuffed. Get stuffed <laughs> like a olive with anchovies in the middle. <laughs> what a what an upper middle class wrecking. <laughs> get stuffed like a like a roasted pepper with feta. <laughs> get stuffed like a hot potato with bacon. <laughs> and, and chives. Mm, do love a stuffed tea. Yeah. Get stuffed like a green olive with some Mercy Valley goat's cheese. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, you've got to come up and check it out. I will. When but let me get the place sorted before you come up. Well, I'll get you a bottle of whiskey and we'll have a whiskey together in the man cave. That'd be great. I'm not a huge whiskey girl, but I'll, I'll indulge. Clink one in the man cave with me. Yeah, I will. It's, it's a fucking good space. Really good space. Mm. It's just got all my shit. Yeah, well, that's like my little... New house. I honestly woke up this morning, just had this big grin, put head Kevin under my arm and just walked around my new apartment like, this is living. How are you finding it? I love it. Has it all come together? Yep. So I'm waiting for, tomorrow arrives the rug and the mirror. Two weeks time, my coffee table, because I got a nice one and I wanted that one. So I waited the time. And today, my fancy TV, which is the one that looks like a um, frame. So you walk in and it looks like it's a frame on the wall. And then, bam, I'm watching Netflix. Bam, I'm on Amazon Prime. Bam, I'm on Paramount. Bam. Just me on the couch. Bam, 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 bam. I'm watching. Oh, it's a frame. I'm watching. Oh, it's a frame. <laughs> Just a fuckhead, eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, don't cry, please. But I just want to have fun in my new house. I know, buddy. Well, are you going to have a housewarming party? Yeah, I'll do a nice dinner. That's fucked. Well, what do you wh- You okay. want me to have a party? Oh, just a shindig with friends. Yeah. Like dinner. Okay, fine. Dinner. I'll have hors d'oeuvres. I'll open the balcony. What's an hors d'oeuvre again? Is that a thing like or is appetizer. that a plate? Yes. Like a, like a goodie plate. So I always get confused by hors d'oeuvres and like anchovies and shit. No, nah, hors d'oeuvres is like... Snap like the appetizers coming around the parte. Okay, well, ma- ma- maybe just um, hey, hey, can you fit a dining table in there? Yeah, I got it in there. Oh, have you? Yeah, <coughs> where the taxi box? Oh, this is a good from them. Taxi box people delivered it up and whatever. To be fair, the first taxi box people who helped me were not good, like, but we had to lift half the shit. But I know that's what I was fucking doing yesterday. Yeah, so then they arrived and they were a lot better than the first half when I moved from Rose Bay. But they came up and they delivered my set of drawers and then they go, um, where are the drawers to go inside the 
drawer because they just delivered the like frame of it. Uh-huh. And I was like, they'll be in the taxi box. And they're like, no. Nah. And I was like, they're not in the taxi box. And they're like, no, nah, there's nothing left in the taxi box. And I was like, what the fuck? Where have they gone? And they're like, nah, fucking with you. Just two blokes. That's awesome. It was hilarious. I love that, They were just like, ha. I was like, you little fuckers. You've got to make your day funny. It was so funny. Like, they they were just, they would have been like, honestly, reckon they were like 22. And then we were all just cracking up laughing. That is, I love that sort of shit. that was funny. But yeah, so everything's basically in. Just got to do a big Kmart shop, a big Woolies shop. Um, I'm going to buy this giant diptyque candle. And then, yeah, done. Big dog LTD. She's in. I'm in. It's good, like... It's, it feels... It's a good place. It is I a good love place. it. It's a fucking Thank nice you place. so much for your help. You still see Don't sweat it, sis. Don't sweat it. When I, I used to work as a logistics manager for a furniture company. Mm. And um, so... But doing that sort of stuff, I like that sort of shit. Yeah. Just putting shit together and fuck. It's just... I find it therapeutic. Even you got fucking... Um, into the country music oh, yeah. I was playing yesterday. It you was like, not. And then I made this little bathroom you caddy. You got into it, yeah. I was quite impressed I did that all on my own. Yeah. Like I had screws and a screwdriver and other screws. Yeah. Yep. It was tough. Yakka. Hard yakka. Hard yakka. Yeah. But it, it was therapeutic. It, it is. Yeah. I find it quite therapeutic. But even when I was working like that, you you would make like, like those blokes and that sort of work mm. when you just sort of like, you're lifting shit, you're building shit. You're driving vans. You're doing. You've got to make your. You've got to make your days fun. Like we used to get. Um, I used to work with this bloke, Quinton, and we'd get like. Uh, we we're in a big warehouse, and we just do fucking. We do shit like. Um, you got to find funny things to do. I just used to prank fucking, prank all the ladies in the office and shit. And like we used to it. smack fucking hockey balls and stuff. That's how I chopped my finger off. Oh, hey. In a teak lounger. When did you chop your finger off? I chopped the top of it off. See how it's just held by That's like It's like mine. I was lifting this big teak lounger, um, like sun lounger, and I, was, I lifted it upside down and the top of it came down and it crushed my finger and ripped it off the top. Yeah. So it was literally like, I can put it up on Instagram if they want no, to no see it. With a warning. Well, I, I put my chainsaw window. Oh, yeah. Maybe they want to see And it, it just ripped the top of it off. And so I went into hospital and like, holy – and it, honestly – when I got out of the car at the hospital, out of Maria's car, she had like a white fucking uh, Maria, Mazda. Maria. Yeah, yeah. I was she in the reminds of me a of yarn. a West Side Story. Yeah, yeah, in the middle of a yarn. Um, so when I was <laughs> when I got out of the car, it looked like a fucking murder scene. Like it was spraying blood. The all the white of her car had like it looked like someone had spl- like a fucking Jackson Pollock painting. Did you get it cleaned for her? Nah, buddy. I was. Pretty busy on getting my finger amputated. But afterwards? I'm sure she sorted that out. I did don't you think offer she... to pay? I actually don't know. I don't no, think so. I did. You rude little but fuck. Probably took a bit of water and a sponge, mate. Not too much. What if blood's everywhere? Yeah, pretty easy to get off. Disagree. What, you've never had to clean up after like someone you've met? I mean. What if you had a uh, white uh, couch? A white car? Do you think a couch might be made of different material than a car, Louisa? But you know how you get like a fancy Do you think like maybe cotton's different to metal. But you know how if you have like a fancy Range Rover and it's like cream in the inside, I feel like that would stain. Carry on with so your story. So then I got into the hospital. Then I got into the hospital, and um, well, I thought I was going in. They said we're going to have to chop off your finger. The doctor was like, we're going to have to chop off your finger. You've got to amputate it down to the first knuckle. I said that's fine. <laughs> like it's the index. That's finger. my strong hand. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and I was like, yeah, that's sweet. Just it, do it. It is ugly. Yeah, it's fucked. I was like, do what you got to do. And then I woke up and I still had my finger. And all they needed to do, he said there was just enough circulation in the finger to keep it. <laughs> Feel that? Yeah, yuck. And all it took was one stitch straight through the middle of my nail and through my finger and it was tied up like that. And then it fucking healed. she come good. Yeah, it just looks like, you know, if you sometimes like have something placed on it for too long and it's sort of indents. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for not letting you get your story out. No, that's fine. I, it was just I had questions, things to say. No, no, you didn't have – see, Lou, this is the thing, buddy. If we listen back to the audio, you didn't have one question. What I you did. did. No, what you did do was accuse me of being a stingy cunt and uh, started singing midway through the – well, I had questions about the white leather. No, on the white of the outside of the car, it was everywhere. Oh, I thought you were... Because I was getting into the car and it was... Sorry, <laughs> Judge. Sorry. 
reverse back. I take it back. I thought you were inside her car. Oh, I was, but I didn't get any in the inside. On the outside, I was sorry. waiting for her, and then we I'm wrapped it up so and got in. I'm sorry. with Lou on that one as well. That is sorry. actually my I fault. I'm going to cop that yeah. on, the, on my chinless that's why head. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You stingy fuck. You've got it sprayed all around her inside. Hands in the air. I own that mistake. Yeah. That was all Well, me. then the questions were fine from me, technically. They were. You know what? They were. Yeah. They were. Yeah, you take that one. You took it like a man. Well done. Thanks. Hey, I've got a little fun trick for you. Okay. What do you got? Okay, so <laughs> there is. Yeah. Okay, I want you to go into your what? Uber Eats app. Oh, no, no, no. I saw yes. this Christian. I saw Christian the other day. Christian Hull, you've I, ruined I me. No, I, you have to. Go into your, go into your Uber oh, Eats, Archie. Fuck no, this is going to be fucked, mate. Mm-hmm. And then, hang on, I just need to get up his TikTok. Go into your Uber Eats. Everyone can do this at home to be disgusted how much money you've spent on Uber Eats. Hold on, hold on. What have I got to do? Go into your Uber. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, Uber Eats. Then click down on account. Oh, go to fuck. settings. Account. Then go to privacy. Yep. And then go to Privacy Centre. Yep. And then the last step, see Summary, and you'll see how many times you've ordered Uber Eats for the year. No, and sorry, forever, since you've had the app. Oh, see Summary. Now I'm just going into mine. Settings. Oh. Privacy. I'm way better than I thought I would oh, be. I'm nervous because what if my I've taken a thousand trips together. Yeah. And I bloody got a rider rating of four point eight five. Yep. And I've ordered with Uber, Uber Eats three hundred and sixty seven times. Okay, I've had one hundred and seventeen trips. Is it, what? How long have you been with Uber? Oh, sorry, one thousand and seventeen. I, I'm only ten more than you. Wait. How many times I've ordered Uber Eats? 395. Whoa. Dude, I thought I was way more than... Tobs? I'm only 245 Uber Eats. How, How many, many trips? trips? 474. Shiver me timbers. That's not that many. How I, much was Christian? I don't know. I don't know if he put I it I saw people in his comments being like 1,167 oh, times. Oh, that makes me feel better. But that's what I think but of was. I was. You know I'm lazy. Like I'll order a bag of red frogs from Woolies, which is... 400 metres round my corner, round the corner from me. Okay. Yeah, okie doke. If Sorry, that was I didn't a listen year? to you just then. What would you say? I said, I, you know yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, you will do that. But if that was a year, I'd be concerned because that would be more than one a day. Well, how many days have you all been with Uber? How, I don't know. Well, it says at the top. Oh. 2,833. I've been with so Uber. So let's work out the average. So I've been with... Three thousand five. Oh, are we doing another maths? Oh, this will be fun. No, that's a, I feel we'll, we'll be confident in this one. Yeah. Okay, well, I've been with Uber 3,126 days. Okay, so divide that with your Uber Eats orders. 3422. Two, two. Three, so two. that's eight and a half years, Lou. <coughs> that means I've ordered Uber Eats. Wait. No, that. Oh, fuck. Oh, Wait, no, that's. Yeah, so hang on. Yeah, so you've been with Uber eight and a half years. Yeah. yeah. And I. And how many. Um, how many Uber Eats have you got? 395. About <laughs> 8.5 years. That's 46 a year, so that's almost oh, that's once a week. so chill. That's One not too bad. So how do I work out my... <laughs> <laughs> Why okay. are we trying to do maths again? <laughs> oh, fuck me swinging. Oh. Okay, Tom, how do I do this? So how many days off. have you been with Uber? 3,422. Sweet. So you've been with Uber for 9.3 years. Okay, no. So how many Uber Eats have you had? 367. Oh, you're an average of 39, so you're l less. Uh, less than Lou. Keep in mind, Uber Eats didn't come into effect oh, yeah. until... Lugal. Oh, yes. Tobbs. Because oh, <laughs> that's how long we've been with Uber, mate. So Uber Eats only come to effect like what? Three years ago? Fuck. Uh oh. 2016, which oh. is. That's fucking. Seven years ago. Seven years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we'll recalculate. 
You know this is going to be a real tough listen. <laughs> the last maths equation, last podcast, people were commenting me like, this was a tough listen, yeah, lads. Like, I, at their fucking they were radios. like, I could not listen oh. to you two idiots try and work out how many oh. fo- feet long the fucking meat Can't even fucking was. say it. So let's go oh. seven times no, 365. No, let's not judge. So let's that's just 2, leave it. That's 2,555 days that Uber just Eats. Leave it. Shut the fuck up, Lou. Just I want, leave it. I want to know. No, we can just do the seven years. We'll keep it seven years. So if you tell me how many orders you've had again. 367. 367 divided by seven years is 52. So you're one a week. That's fine. So look, I'm happy with a that. Bit more than that. Yeah. Oh, one a, a week Sunday. is so chill. Yeah. yeah. One a week is so mellow. Bro, I almost feel like they've been nice to me on the app because I've got a good rating. Because I swear to God. I reckon I'm three a week. Same. 100%. Big, big John's. Big John's. That's Pete? one a week. A bag of lollies and some caramel milk for Lulu. That's one a week. Bro, I'm getting like groceries and shit from them now. Mm. Okay, well, cool. We're not we're not as big a pieces of shit, shit as, as we, we thought, thought we, we were. were. Did we just become <laughs> best, best friends? friends. Yup. Yep. Want to go, go do karate, karate in, in the garage? garage. Yup. I wanted to. I want to ask you something. Okay. Um, are you asking me to be your best man? No, mate. I'm not even fucking engaged, you moron. I asked you if I could be a groomsman. Which is so arrogant. <laughs> Which is such a wild thing to ask someone. Well, will I be? Oh, I'm rude. I'm rude. Will I be the MC? I don't fucking know. Surely. Fine. Me and someone else. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Look. You'll be the MC at mine. Hey. You might be a bridesmaid. Hey. I wanted to ask if you something. If I ever get married. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be waiting a while. Um, okay. I want to ask you something. Please. When I was waiting for you this morning pick, to, to pick you up, I did something. Oh no. I want to know if you've ever done it. You had a wank. <laughs> I Googled myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Louisa. No, Louisa. I didn't have a wank. Well, I wouldn't have In done that car. before. I wouldn't have done have that you, before. Have you ever Googled yourself? Yes. What does it show? Lame stuff. I just was in the car. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google myself and just see if, say? like, what's there. What does it say? Well, shout out to my friend Tegan Gardner, who I used to work with at QMS. She's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Arsdale, <laughs> Teeks, you and me. Lucky I started with the wedding chat there. It says Jack Arstar wife, and it's a photo of my mate Tegan Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> so Teeks, I don't know if I don't know if you and me got drunk and went to some sort of a fucking office and signed some documents, but uh, <laughs> mine says. Uh, only who are the hosts the of We Mean Well? What school did Louisa Aldin go to? Who was Louisa Aldin's husband? Dude, the only re- Kevin. Kevin, Kevin. <laughs> she's into bestiality. Uh, the, the only reason I did this bedwetters, let me preface, is because I got an email this morning from a bloody uh, a website. It's like it was like, hey, we're from Famous Birthdays, and they've sent it before to my management, being like, we've got twenty five million users a fucking week or whatever, and we want to get Jack's birthday so we can update his profile. And I was like, what? Famous. Like, why the fuck would you want what, what? Why would you want to update my? Pro- I'm, I'm a fucking nobody. People might want to know what star sign you are. Oh, fuck Mine that. also says Louisa Darden reveals woman's biggest icks and turnoffs when dating men. Oh, yeah, because that was a news article. Whereas yep. I haven't really had news articles written about me except for in The Farmer. I've also got TikTok star Beck's truck safety message. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I did the truck oh, yeah, videos? Yeah. I'm doing another one for them potentially. Are you? Yeah. Some of uh, can't. Oh, and then we've also got break. The, the irony of you doing. Uh, vehicle, safe, ve- oh, vehicle safety videos. I am safe. You are safe. You're like this one. Breaking free of smartphone addiction. 24-year-old Louisa Aldin is a self-proclaimed smartphone addict. 24-year-old? T- yeah. When was, wh- why were they interviewing you then? I don't know. What was that on? Something in New Zealand. Oh, true. Like, the, what's the New Zealand Herald? Really? Well, it was yesterday because I'm 24. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you look at 
Oh, I do. <laughs> Jarch and I went to the sauna the other day and we hopped in the spa. Bro, Tobs. No, Bro. let me tell the story. And this, this was he Croatian man came over to us, gold chains and all, and he said... Um, His name's Irv. He said, is this your wife or something? And then Jarch said, no, no, we do a podcast together. And then he was talking about his um, niece. And he goes, oh, well, you'd be about the same age as her. And carries on the story. And I go, how, how old's your niece? Just, just out of curiosity. And he goes, 20. And I thought, <coughs> the big dog LDD looks young. She's a young lass. He wanted you to get on your knees. <laughs> Jack Edward Archdale. Now, let me tell you he something. He has a wife. And a child. <clears throat> Let me tell you something, Tom. He was being serious. He did what every single fucking male knows to do if a woman ever asks, how old do you think I am? You look at them, you go, she's 36. You go, 29. <laughs> they go, I love you. And you go, I know. Well, 20. You are taught that at a very young age. No, you know what I mean? but if he thought I was 20, that means he technically thought he I was 25. He said, he said 24. No, he didn't. He said 20. I would Oh, well, now we know he's remember. fucking bullshitting then. Well, that means he, th- he would think I was 25, which I'll fucking take. What? Oh, based on my logic. Yeah. Yeah, but I just said random numbers. There's no I think he thought I, was tw- tw- let's, he thought I was 25. He was flirting with you, Louisa. No, he wasn't. How, he wouldn't say, like, how old are you? You're like 29. And he's like, yeah, you look at... I disagree. He thinks I'm 25. I know you do. You reckon You know what was the worst? Anyway, man's going, yeah, you look that age. You know what was the most frustrating (laughs) thing about the story? I told Fate that. And he goes, ah, classic, like oldest book in the, oldest trick in the book. And I went, excuse me? (laughs) (laughs) What do you mean I was tricking the book? I look 20. At that time, he knew he'd fucked up. (laughs) The wrath of LDD. (laughs) Oh, dear. We have fun, though, don't we? We do giggle and laugh, and Jack. Chill. <laughs> we have a lot of fun, don't we? <laughs> now, do you want to do some red light, green light, Louisa? Oh, actually. What? Do you want to do some hinges? Fucking oath I do. <laughs> Every time I say oh, it. I love hinges. Yes, I get to fucking wreck some cunts. <laughs> And you get to sit back and be lazy, like every other day and every other podcast. That's what Steph says as well. Nah, I'm a go, don't worry. You grow and not a shower? <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Most people are. No, I know a bloke. I know a bloke who's just like nine inches on the flop. Jesus. That's like a foot long. No, it's not. Oh. It's twelve. <laughs> Don't maybe uh, we leave the foot long yep, in the last yep, episode. No, 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 no. It's no, no, everyone no, no, no. quiet, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just breathe. Just no more. Oh. No, no more of that. Hinge wenge notes, hinge wenge notes. All righty. Hey, okay, cool. Oh. What? Did I just take a screenshot of that? It's not even a video. <laughs> it's oh fucking my shit show. God. This is an absolute fucking Seriously. shit show. Seriously. Okay, this is one that a guy has DM'd a girl. You know how you match and then you can like send them a message? Uh huh. So he said this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Camille, oh yeah. I like your hair. I like your hair. Come on, everyone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Camille, oh yeah. That's We like your hair. <laughs> it's very fair. Do you use gunny air? Yeah. That's great. That is nah, that here amazing. Here we go, boys. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> If that is you, can you please DM Jarch or I or we mean well? Like, that is probably the best hinge note. That's a, and I love can, he's got his mates around fucking. See, that's funny sitting around with your mates doing that. Correct. You know what's not funny? Humping the pool. Oh, <laughs> God. Like, God. That, is, that is funny. That's good, that's good bloke shit. Yeah. And, and, and the good thing about it was he can play guitar clearly, doesn't have the greatest voice. But he's got a pretty good voice, yeah. so he's not trying to do it too hard on the like. I've got a nice voice. voice, and his moits are just sitting around. Just his fucking, moits. His moits. His moits are just sitting around <laughs> having a fucking good old what? <laughs> what? You said it's moit. Yeah, moit. Like moit. No, you you mean mates? Yeah, you... mate. It's another way to say mate. Moit. Oh. Hey, go moit. Oh. Yeah. I thought you just said it. Oh, you thought I'd wigged out and go like, a- yeah, him and his moits. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a slip of the mates. tongue. No, mate. No, no, no. Oh, you said sardigna. Uh, moits oh, means mate. Oh, phenomenal. Uh, okay. 
this guy has said a special talent of mine. TikTok, then I will have arrived. Milan, darling, Milan. Supermodels, ha! Nothing super about them. Spoiled, stupid little stick figures with poofy lips who think only of themselves. I used to design for gods. But perhaps you have come with an ulterior motive. Do you know what that's from? No. The Incredibles. That's Edna Mole. That's not Edna. Mole. <gasps> that. Are you sick? That's Edna Mole. Are you joking? <laughs> Edna Mole. <gasps> Louisa. <laughs> that was Edna. No, don't. He's pretending to be Edna Mole. He's pretending to be <gasps> Edna Mole. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Have you not seen The Incredibles? <laughs> oh, yeah, mate, but you not know for a the long. girl, The Incredibles. This no. woman, wait for it. I don't, buddy. When I bring a photo up of her, you'll know Edna Mole. <laughs> well, if you were uh, if you were swiping through Hinge uh, right. and a, that voice note popped up, no idea. Yeah, maybe not for you. You're on the wrong side of Hinge, mate. I'm not on Hinge. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> for other people, that's very good. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. Fuck you. <laughs> what a wrecking. Completely wrecked. Yeah, you, you wrecked the <laughs> fuck out of me. Me. That's Edna Mo- No. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, play this one up, fucker. I was like, play this one up. I got no idea who she's talking oh my about. God, I hate you. <laughs> Oh, oh okay. dear, oh dear. Um, okay, this guy's their oh. best travel story. Uh, okay, got to make this quick. I went to America in 2014 uh, around New Mexico and went snowboarding. And uh, long story short, uh, I was missing for eight hours and they found me wandering in the woods uh, with no tracks. They don't know how I got there. I don't know how I got there. Two weeks of my, my life is just completely missing. Last thing I remembered when I started getting my memory back is that I was in Australia and I look out the window and there's fucking snow. Um, yeah, so I was abducted by aliens or Bigfoot had his way with me. Yeah, don't do meth, kids. I just Steer think, clear from crystal meth. I just think he was trying to be funny. I went to America in 2014. Sorry, he's playing me out of my headphones. Sorry. I just think he was trying to be funny. Look, miss the mark, buddy. A little bit off. If you're trying to be funny, you just miss the mark and that's fine. We hit and we miss. As, as us two comedians, we think, as per the yeah, hinge yeah. note, the, the, the doth the hinge note, yeah. we found it not so not so comedic. We're like a credible authority on all things comedy here, and, and And doth the hinge note. Doth the hingey. Doth thus uh, my Rises hypotheses on him. Of the synopsis. Of other big words that may that don't have contextual relevance. And if he's being serious, he's a fucking kook. So, yeah. I think he was. You reckon? I think it was for the gags. Well, Mr. Mark, kid. I think it was for the gag, gagsy wagsies. Puddling pies. Kiss the girls and make them cry. Okay, this guy said dating me is like. All right, girls, my name's David and I'm from Essex. Hello, David. If you're looking to get rich, to sit down, hold on tight and enjoy the ride. I'm no chef, but if you like your eggs fertilised in the morning, then I'm the man for you. David. Oh, bloody hell. That's just me falling for you, sweetheart. So anyways, if you like what you hear and see, don't be afraid to drop us a little like. <laughs> P.S. I don't bite, unless you want me to. Oh. Okay, hold on. He had... I, I. That's either one of the most cringiest shit I've heard, but I heard him giggle... After he said a line like I he knows liked it, it, he knows he's this is funny. I think it was quite a long. I liked it. I liked it for the gigs. I like it. Just like talking it. like that. I like it, David. Okay. That's not bad, David. I like it. I don't mind mm. it if you want your eggs fat. Oh, like <laughs> oh, you sound like you've had a fucking brain injury. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you were going 35 kilometres on a dirt bike and you've fallen off, hit your head. It wasn't fatal, but you've come out and now you're totally like that. Man, David. <laughs> Sorry, you, you, there was no gaps in your word, it was just one big long word. 
<laughs> Cruel. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> This guy has said uh, another great wrecking from me just quietly. <laughs> my, over there yeah, you've cry. wrecked me a fair amount today. Oh this guy has said uh, my cry in the car song is. Well, hopefully, I can take notes because yeah, I'll need it. Correct. All time crying in the car song would definitely have to be "All Star" by Smash Mouth. Not only because it reminds me of the deep emotional impact that Shrek had had on my life but because it's a continual reminder of my soul's existential yearning to return to the swamp. <laughs> hey, Connor, he brought me back with the swamp thing at the end. You liked it? I, he, I didn't. He, he, I saw, it, it, I'm orange, I'm orange on it. You going orange? Also, weird accent. Was it? Couldn't pick it. I don't know, it was just a bit funky You want to me, me to go again? No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. Okay, orange. Yep. Okay, one more for Jachi. Yeah. This guy said, I'm looking for. Just looking for a nice, caring woman to adopt two of my dogs and me. Um, for just £2.99 a month, which is just 10 people a month, you can give Timo, Cornelius, and Scrambles a home. Not only it gives them a second chance in life, but also gives them a second chance of what it feels like to be loved. Match today if you would like to help the community with style. And that is doggy style. <laughs> you know what I love about that? Which one's he? What? All three of those names. He oh. could, either one could be the dog or the human. Except for Scrambles, probably. Cornelia, Timo and Scrambles. I think he'd be Timo. I'm thinking Cornelia. He See, said, I, didn't he say Cornelius? I don't know. Surely you wouldn't look down at a baby this day and age and look at it and go, Cornelius. Are you fucking fair dinkum, mate? We're in the age of the most dead shit fucking baby names of all time. I suppose people name their babies uh, Apple now. I might, I might name mine Granny Smith. I love apples. Specifically Granny Smith. I might name it Kevin. Or Toby. That, that feels more appropriate. Kevin, Toby and Gianni. That's oh, some good. Kevin, Toby and Gianni in tequila. <laughs> Can't drink your child. Yeah, mine would be called... Mine would be called Whiskey and Diesel. Because you like the smell of it, Diesel. The shit that gets me going. Guess shit gets... Get, get. You could call it Man Cave. I'm just going to call my son like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're doing the roll for today. We've got John, Bruce, Man Cave. Man Cave, are you here? Man Cave would be a great pseudonym for a gay porn star. Man Cave. Come on. Man, think. Yeah, but... Louisa. Well, I know. I'm, I'm think aware of what you're trying to put down, but... Oh God. It's a man cave. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You with me? I've got it. Well, that's your hingey wingy. Well, that's a week. that's a I guess a miss. If uh, as comedians, that would have been classified as a miss, okay. just like that guy. Yes. I thought it was quite funny. So did I, Jack. And, no, you didn't. You didn't doth, laugh. Doth the doth the hypothesis doth the of photosynthesis synopsis. synopsis. Guys, we're gonna have a go at the movie plot game again. <laughs> so how we do this now is I don't tell anyone. Yeah. Remember we used to whisper and yeah, tell the yeah, viewers. Yeah, now don't. everyone plays along. So everyone can guess. Um. Okay, there's like this group of like guys who are good mates and um, they all just like hate their jobs. It's like, this is shit. Like, they're just unhappy. They just like got really shit bosses. Um, and so then they all kind of like have this idea. Horrible that bosses. <laughs> Didn't even let me finish. <laughs> Perfect. I also Wrecked. think I got you in trouble for doing that once. What? And I was like, don't just yell in when you yeah. halfway through. And then you decide to do it. Oh, it's it. Jack's rule. Oh, it's Jack's world. I just live in it. Sorry, Lou. Yeah. But I got it. Yeah, but just wait. The bedwetters might not. Now you've ruined the game. Fuck. Okay, get another one. <laughs> it just took us 15 minutes to find. <laughs> Hang on. I'll find another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, There's this little, like, guy who thinks he's a pretty good cook. And he just kind of, like, stumbles across this restaurant. And he's like, fuck, I might, like, sneak in here after I dark. It. I might sneak in here after dark and just, like, start cooking. And he starts making, like, really lit pasta sauces and everything. 
<laughs> he's just job. like he's just like going around, and then he's like throw like the chef's cooking, and he's like hiding under things, and he's like throwing like spices in so that it tastes better. And this like fancy French restaurant, and then the chef takes the meals out, and everyone's like, "This is amazing! What's going on?" And then the chef finds out that like this guy's actually been sleeping there and like helping him cook, and then they like work as like a team together, and become like chef partners. Ratatouille. The best movie of all time. Ratatouille. It is a great film. Back me up on that. I'm going to watch it tonight. Probably haven't seen it for 20 years, but I did enjoy it. I'm going to watch it on my new TV tonight on my own. Ah! How uh, That's very fun. Yes, that's very. You have fun, don't you? Don't you? Aren't you going to have fun tonight with Kevin watching your own TV show, aren't you? Aren't you? (laughs) Okay. You ready for mine? Yep. Okie doke. A teen's body changes. A teen boy's body changes and he discovers that he can shoot a white sticky liquid out of his body. Spider-Man. Fuck. John. What? I mean, you could think it was a porn movie. Why? What? Well. Why? White sticky stuff. Whoa. You did that on purpose. No, to I me would on. D- d- never do you that. Were egging you get me your on. mind out of the gutter, please. You were egging me on. Mate, I would never do it. To you like we'll that. We'll find another one that was too quick. I was too smart. I know. There's a young bird. She wants to find who killed her dad. And so they bloody, she finds, she wants to hire someone. So she gets this ranger, you know, um, to help her go and find this fella. And then, but he's like, I don't know if I can do it. And then there's an old fella who has to join them. And they join and go across. And they get into all these scrapes everywhere. And there's pretty scary stuff. And then, they eventually like they're going all through the desert and that, and then they find oh. they find it, and um and he's got this eye patch on and talk like and then he's going around and all that, and then they find him and they shoot out, he gets shot in that and that. Zombie Land? No. Nah. Oh, the Equalizer? No. Nah. What's that one by um that famous director, uh the Fantastic Eight or something? Fantastic <laughs> Four. <laughs> oh, you know that one? It's like. All these famous people and they go to this like hut in the in the ice. Nah. Fantastic Eight, the the Incredible Eight or something. And it's a Western style film. Yeah, the u- this the, one's a Western style the usable film. Usable Eight. The Hateful Eight. Yes, that's no, it. it's not it. Okay. Um, One Carver of them wears an eye, eye patch. Eye patch. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh no. I said it's a Western. Oh. <laughs> True Grit. What? True Grit. It's called True Grit. You never seen True Grit? No. That sounds like something that'd be Grand Theft Turismo, not Western. So much wrong in the last couple of seconds. Grand Theft Turismo. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, buddy. <laughs> Fucking, it's a Western. Pirates of the Caribbean. No, it's True Grit. Oh, that sounds like Grand Theft Turismo or something. Or, th- oh, yeah. Or have you ever seen um, Mortal um, Fighting? Mortal Fighting, the game Mortal. True Grit. Who's in that, True Jack? Grit with... Um, Matt Damon and bloody Haley. Should I watch that tonight after Ratatouille? And Jeff Bridges. True you know Grit. Jeff Bridges. Never seen it. Jeff, Jeff, hold on, I can do a pretty good Jeff Bridges, I think. Jeff Bridges in True Grit. We're alive, man. We're alive. I ain't never seen nothing like that in my goddamn life. My I, name. My name's. I ain't Jeff. never ho- seen ho- it. Hold on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to do Jeff Bridges here. We're alive, man. Cause it t- he talks like. Girl, I ain't never seen nothing like that. I, c- I can't go down there with you like that. You c- I was spitting my bucket. I'm Jeff Bridges. You've got veins coming out of your head from doing that. I ain't never seen nothing like that. I'm Jeff Bridges. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like that. I'm Jeff Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get a bit more like. Get a little bit more like are you talking like her. I seen this girl down there one of them days, and I was I said to her, I said, "Girl, you get the fuck off my land. I I will shoot you." Uh, girl, you get the fuck off my land. I will shoot you. <laughs> shoot you. I will shoot. I will shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. Excuse me. Off the land. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> if you don't move, I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're trespassing, aren't you? Yeah, aren't you? Get now, off listen. my land, you naughty little girl. I'm yeah. going to shoot you. Yeah. And you won't come back, won't you? <laughs> Will you? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, dead. Bedwater Hotline. Bedwater Hotline. Now, this one came in about a bloody hour ago. Hey, Jack. Hey, Kevin. 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 Hey, Jack. H
Hey, bedwetters. I'm just calling in. I've been listening to the podcast for quite a while now. So I started on episode like 45 and I'm going back and re-listening to the earlier episodes. Anyways, tell me why this morning. Get in my car. And I, I knew Toby was dead. Knew Toby was dead. And I listened to the Toby's Dead episode and a literal tear streams down my face listening to Louise. I go, Toby's dead and his footprints are being mailed back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, love the podcast, guys. All right. Oh, hooroo. Hooroo, mate. Ciao, senorita. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, senorita. I vividly remember got, I had the microphone and I said, announcement of 2023. And you were like, what's going on? And I go, Toby's dead. And you are like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I was like, Luke. Keep it light. Yeah. Keep it light. <laughs> Keep it lighthearted. <laughs> Toby's we, dead. We never did a funeral for him. Yeah, I know. It, it was a dog. Let's not <laughs> go to the next one, or there'll be a rumble and tussle. Excuse me, senorita. <laughs> no. r- Russell and Tar, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> I don't know who cares, whatever. Who Gran Turismo, whatever. Gran Turismo. Grand Theft Tourism. <laughs> Theft Tourism. Fuck me swinging. That's the podcast name. Grand, Grand Theft, Theft Tourism. Tourism. 100%. <laughs> All right. Now, this one, bloody, let's give this one a whirl. G'day, bad I uh, just wanted to spin you a bit of a yarn from when I was a little kid. Would have been about three. Mum and Dad were telling me, we um got to wait in your room in the morning. We don't want you to wake us up because I would have been a little shit jumping on the bed and all that. Um, so they said, wait in your room until we come get you. Anyway, next morning, around uh, 10 a.m. rolls around. And I'm like, oh, fuck, is he still asleep? This is pretty good. Smashing some uh, records here. Anyway, half an hour later, they decide to go in there. I'm sat at my little, like, fucking wooden kids' table. You know, like those little tiny little chairs and all that. Dead. And I've just been pissing myself. <laughs> I've probably pissed myself about three times. I'm just sitting there in a little puddle. I'm gonna leave Amazing. Anyway, Iconic. It. He's a bedwetter from way back. Funny story, mate. Uh, Steph walked up into my man cave. She couldn't find me this morning. And I was, Do it. I'd done the exact same thing mm-hmm. at 33. Mm-hmm. So we Always never grow, be proud. Ne- we never grow out of it, buddy. We don't grow out of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we never grow out of it. <laughs> oh, okie dokie, smoky chokey. What have we got? G'day, you sons of hot mums. <laughs> the Prince of Perseus, Sam Royal to Richardson. Now, I've never been a tequila senorita myself, but fuck me. Drilled a heap of uh, yes. Tommy's mugs. Yes. Um, if you're from Perth, check out Taco Marie and Calamunda. Okay. Hey, little shout out. Oh, Tommy. Oh. Fuck, Tommy Dahl's calling me. Who's that? <laughs> the Alpha Blacks. You can have him call him. T- Tommy. Mate, Hi, how are you, bro? We're recording you, the bloody podcast. You, Fuck off, would you? You're on the potty, mate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> yeah. How good's that, mate? How you going anyway? Say good day to the bedwetters, brother. Good day, bedwetter. This is Tommy from the Alpha Blokes. What's happening, bro? Oh, I was just actually ringing you about next week and saying, can you get Tom to respond to me? The cunt. What's he been doing? <laughs> Well, mate, I've got to fucking line up a yarn with you, with them, with some other bastards. So I sort of got to give him the time, you know, and fucking he must be a busy man, that boy. Yeah, yeah, mate, he's flat out fucking playing to golf. Play golf. Yeah, yeah, no, he's <laughs> fucking oh, full well, on, bro. He's well, full well, on. Well, that's understandable. Um, no, too easy. Well, hey, yeah. No, we'll, we'll be getting in Wednesday night, so I was just... Fuck you know, yeah, mate. Trying to do a bit of prepping. Yeah, grouse. I'll call you back after this and we can work out logistics, but... um. Yeah, too easy. It'd be right, good to well, see uh, you, boys, bro. Oh, mate, we're keen as fuck. It'll be great. Fucking age. But uh, too easy, guys. Well, you two stay out of each other. Okay, and we will. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Keep pissing, bruh. See you, bruh. Hey, bro. <laughs> now, the Prince of Perth. <laughs> oh. He's come mate. back. I'm straight, but I do, Tommy. The you know what's crazy? The Alpha Prince bloke. of Perth mm-hmm. talking about Tommy's. Mm-hmm. Tommy calls me. Yes. Talking about Tommy. Wow. Birmingham. And then we Ooh. finish the phone call and he says I'm not straight, but I do Tommy. That that's is fate. Pretty wild. It is. Isn't it? That's like deja vu. Nah. Uh-huh. Nah, it's not. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's no, like, buddy. Nah. It's like a sign. Better. 
Deja vu. Really wrong, Bardo. But what so is it then? More a sign? Just a coincidence. Oh. Wacky coincidence. Wha- you know on radio? It's wacky Wednesday. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Coincidence day. Do you work in breakfast radio? I did, Jack. Did Have you? I ever told you about the time when Sir <laughs> Prince Edward came in to the studios Sorry. for breakfast radio, that is? <laughs> Sir Prince Edward. <laughs> hey, that actually is pretty crazy what just happened. That, that, it is. It that is, was a whole gangbang of Tommies. Tom incident. <laughs> nah, I'm you happy like with it. that. Yes! Really happy. He with likes it. it! Okay, one more. Yes, please. Okay, Pearson. Hey, mate, it wasn't just me. Yeah. It was Jarch and Tobbs as well. It was a yeah. communal idiot moment. It was almost like it was just we, 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 we're embarrassed by it. The video, everyone's commenting, being like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? People are just like, how the fuck we get 26? <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> outrageous. Like, and, and I think you were going, no, no, Louisa. Like, <laughs> like yeah, like on my high horse. <laughs> no, no, no. This, that's not how it is. It's, that's not quite right. Um, hey, thanks again for listening, Bedwetters. Thank you, We don't know how you do it, but you do every week. We, we love, love you guys. Hey, love the lot of you. Now, follow Louisa Dalden on Instagram. And TikTok. Mm. And follow... And follow at Jack Archdale. What's and yours, Tops? Tobler. Oh, Thomas Tobler. There we go. Just spell hold, hold on, hold on. T-O-B-L-E-R. You telling me your last name is pronounced Tobler? Yeah. Sorry? Oh, God. Why have we been calling you Tops the entire time? Because Why Tom, don't we call you Tobes? Because on the first... <laughs> no, we can't be doing that. Uh, 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 too close to Toby's dude, dead. That yeah, has weird... Oh. Can't call him Tobes. Um, yeah, ever since... Well, when I started at Hello Sport... <laughs> They called me, Tom and Eddie called me Tobler because they thought how my, that's how my name's pronounced. I corrected them and they were like, nah, fuck that. Tobler's easier to say than Tobler. <laughs> so uh, uh, for a year and a half, I've just been um, Tobler. Well, so Tobs- you're Tobler own? Yeah. Why don't we call him Tobler own? He can have his own name on our <laughs> podcast. I've never heard you say your own last name. I've only heard Tom and Eddie say, anyone yeah. that's ever said it Tobler. has said Thomas Tobler. Tobler. They're starting to brainwash me so that when people ask me my name, sometimes I say Tobler. Jesus. It's, yeah, it's actually Tobler own. Well, I Tobler. actually want to keep up the facade because that's funny that we're brainwashing you. Yeah. So follow Thomas Tobler <laughs> at Thomas Tobler. At Thomas Tobler. And keep pissing.